Good morning and welcome to story time. I'm Miss Sharon. And did you know that tomorrow is National Unicorn Day? It's a day to celebrate those magical one horned horses. And they're really pretty, but did you also know they can be just a little mischievous? Um, so we're going to find all about the mischievous creatures today. But first, we're going to sing our opening song, The More We Get Together. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right. Okay. Our first book is called How to Catch a Unicorn. It's written by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Eckleton and read with the permission of Source Books Jabberwocky. On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm riding on a rainbow and I'm heading to the zoo. The kids think they have spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. <gasps> Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. Uh, I believe they fart glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will make sure I escape. Oh, do you see him escaping? Can you find him? Oh, there he is. First, I see a, my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. Oh, and we got some unicorn lemonade. Oh, do you see him in this picture? He's disappeared, but you think he's going after that rainbow? I dodged the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. Oh, do you see him hiding in that picture? Look, there's his hooks. There he is. I chill with all my penguin pals, but these traps but these traps are everywhere. I head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. Oh, there he goes, follow his glitter trail. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magic horn. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink my size. But it sure is hard to see in there, in here with all these butterflies. Oh, you think he blends in right in with all those colors? Oh, this says baby animals petting zoo and unicorns eat for free. My nose smells something super sweet from coming from the cafe. Oh, Yum. I snag a little bite before I fly away. Next up, I go to where it's hot and where there's lots of snakes. The snakes and lizards help me, though, with their clever use of tails. Ooh. They don't like snakes. I'm big again, and with more friends, these monkeys make me laugh but I would have, caught, would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. Oh, there he is. You think he scared him? I think he maybe scared him a little. What's over there? A paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring. Run! While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. Uh-oh. 
they broke the tree and broke the tape the went right in his path. The gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But lucky for me, there's a decoy to safely take the wrap. Hmm. Where do you, do you see the decoy? Oh, there it is with the horn. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best. Your traps were smart, but unicorns are fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. Oh, better luck next time. The end. So what do you, how do you think? You think you'll be able to catch a unicorn if you go out there? I don't know. Okay, now we're going to do five little unicorns. So I saw five little unicorns, creatures from folklore. The blue one pranced away, and then there were four. I saw four little unicorns resting by a tree. I watched the purple one prance away, and then there were three. I saw three little unicorns nearest to them I drew. The green one pranced away, and then there were two. I saw two little unicorns. I watched them run and run. The yellow one pranced away, and then there was one. I saw a lonely pink unicorn standing in the sun. I blinked my eyes. It pranced away. And then there were none. Okay. Did you see those? Did you like our cute unicorns? I'm impressed by them. <laughs> okay, now we're going to read You Don't Want a Unicorn. It's written by Amy. Dickman, illustrated by Liz Climo, and written with the permission of Little Brown. So first of all, how many out there really do want a unicorn? Do you think it would be kind of cool? Maybe. I might want one. I don't know yet. Uh, wait! If you were going to wish for a unicorn, you were going to wish for a unicorn, weren't you? Wishing for a unicorn is a big mistake. Just step away and, uh-oh, things are about to get, poof, ugly, trust me. Hmm, that doesn't look ugly. Sure, having a unicorn seems fun at first. All right, super fun. Fine, it's awesome, okay? But it's not worth it. What you don't know is unicorns shed and scratch. No matter how hard you try, unicorns can't be house trained. You want that? You don't want that. Trust me. I don't know. There's a big pile of cupcakes there. Hmm. Don't even get me started on the jumping, the chewing, crap, and the burping. Hey, not bad. You probably could pull this off. If it wasn't for the biggest top secret nobody knows about it problem with having a unicorn, what could that be? Unicorns live in groups. And when a unicorn gets lonely, ding, 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 it calls a friend. Poof. No. Right when you're thinking this, uni this could be double super fun. Poof. There's another. Poof. And another. Poof. And another. Great. 
Now you've unleashed the most destructive force in the universe. A unicorn party! Unicorns rule. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's it? Uh oh, look at his face. He's like, oh my gosh, what has happened? I told you. You didn't trust me. Quick, grab your piggy bank. Run. You have to wish them away. Oh, throwing his quarters in. Poof, 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 poof. Oh, they all went away. Whew. Yeah, that one needs to go back too. It's for the best. Trust me. Whip. Aw, oh, cheer up. You could get a gorilla or, or oh, sorry, excuse me, you could get a goldfish or a nice rock or, uh-oh, what does he see? Oh, no, a dragon? Uh-oh, stop! You don't want a, the, one of those either. Trust. Flip. Poof. Uh-oh, now we've got a dragon. I don't know if that'll be any better than the unicorn or not. The end. That one was a super, super fun one, but trust me, I don't think you want a unicorn. Okay, now we're gonna sing if you're a unicorn. Okay, you ready? First, we're gonna shake our horn, then we're gonna stomp our hoofs, then we're gonna toss our mane and twitch our tails and prance around. Are you ready? If you're a unicorn and you know it, shake your horn. If you're a unicorn and you know it, shake your horn. If you're a unicorn and you know it, then your magic will surely show it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, shake your horn. If you're a unicorn and you know it, stomp your hoofs. If you're a unicorn and you know it, stomp your hoofs. If you're a unicorn and you know it, then your magic will surely show it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, stomp your hoofs. If you're a unicorn and you know it, toss your mane. I can kind of toss mine. If you're a unicorn and you know it, toss your mane. If you're a unicorn and you know it, then your magic will surely show it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, toss your mane. Okay, now I'm going to stand up because we're going to twitch our tails. Are you ready? If you're a unicorn and you know it, twitch your tail. Oh, I should have brought my tail today, but I forgot it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, twitch your tail. If you're a unicorn and you know it, then your magic will surely show it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, twitch your tail. If you're a unicorn and you know it, prints around. If you're a unicorn and you know it, prints around. If you're a unicorn and you know it, then your magic will surely show it. If you're a unicorn and you know it, prints around. Good job! That was super fun. Sorry, I had, I had a lot of fun doing that one. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to read Unicorn Day. It's written by Diana Murray, and the pictures are by Luke Flowers. And it's also read with the permission of Sourcebooks Jabberwocky. Hooray, hooray, it's Unicorn Day. Oh, there's a sign that says, all unicorns, this way. When unicorns come out to play, they have three rules they must obey. Rule number one, show off your horn, be proud to be a unicorn. Rule number two, fluff up that hair, make sure it's groomed and styled with flair. Rule number th three, have fun, fun, fun. That's the most important rule. That's the most important one. Well, we just did our prancing and our flipping, so we should be good. In the woods where tall trees sway, they sing the song of Unicorn Day. Sunshine, flowers, fairy wings, today's a day for joyful things. Nay, 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 dance and play. Happy Happy, happy Unicorn Day. They kick their hoofs, they jump and cheer, and sparkly butterflies 
flutter near. They slide on rainbows in the air and love to braid each other's hair. They point their horns up as they fly and cupcakes rain down from the sky. Then after they have had a bite, it's time to have a glitter fight. Oh, I don't know if mom would be happy about that, but hey, you know. Uh-oh, that's no unicorn. Oh, that's a horse. Oh, he looks kind of sad, don't you think? He turns around to leave, of course. His horn's not real. It's just pretend. But they don't want to lose a friend. They tie the horn back on his head and give the horse a hug instead. Oh, that was nice of them. Then it's back to fun, fun, fun. That's rule the that's rules the most important one. They march together tall and proud. And soon, oh, they count their signs, proud to be a unique corn, corn. And have you hugged a unicorn today? Yay for unicorn day. Oh, this guy's giving out free hugs. Some more friends join the crowd. Today is a day for joyful things. Oh, oh, there's the abominable snowman. I know he has another name, but I can't think of what it is yet right now. Oh, Yeti, a Yeti, there you go. An elephant, an alligator, and an octopus. That's one heck of a parade. They trot along as everybody sings the song. Sing along. Are you ready? Cups, cakes, sprinkles, cherry tarts, starlight twinkles, glowing hearts, sunshine flowers, fairy wings. Today's a day for joyful things. Nay, 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 dance and play. Happy, happy unicorn day. And oh, unicorns are awesome. Okay, that was a really fun book too. And I know a lot of you guys out there like unicorns. So I got some books out here that we have. Um, unicorns are very popular. So we have a lot checked out now, but we do have a lot in. So come on in and get your unicorn books. Okay, now we're going to sing Skin of a Rinky. Are you ready? Skin of a Rinky Dinky Dink, Skin of a Rinky Do. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you too. Boo boo be do. Oh, I love that song. Okay, so this is our craft for this week. It's a cool little unicorn, 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 and you cut. It'll get this. It's got the template in it. You can color it and cut it out and put it all together and you'll have your own little unicorn there. Okay, now let's sing our closing song. Thanks for sitting, thanks for listening, thanks for coming here today. Now that story time is over, I hope you have a lovely day. Now don't forget, Saturday at 10 o'clock, we're having a special story time with Kyla Wren. So come and watch that. And then we'll have another story time with Miss Alice next Thursday. Bye-bye.